This next story, I just want to say, I use GPS for everything, right? Because I chief and I might get lost. And I do that when I'm in my own town sometimes. Because I don't even want to think about it. Just take me right to the spot. Um, unfortunately, one family found out that when you use Google Maps, shit might go left. Imagine just driving off a bridge because Google Maps wasn't updated. I guess it was a bridge that was a, that was out or something like that, right? And I've seen that. Right? And then it wasn't basically recorded on GPS. GPS didn't have that information apparently. And he's driving somewhere where he did, he was trying to get back home, I think, right? And it was at night. It was raining. And it was raining and he following GPS and he just drives off because he's following GPS and now he did. But and is I, he I, not I, looking at the road and he looking at the GPS screen? I mean, listen, yes, we can factor in it's raining and yes, we can factor in that the bridge is out and it's nighttime. But at the same time, you got to still keep your damn eyes on the road. If you know anything about GPS and you know anything about Google Maps and Maps, period, you got to understand that sometimes there are new developments that pop up and they may not be recorded as of yet so there may have been a streak here at one point in time that is no longer here because now this is a whole new development or this might have happened then this is no longer here but either way you still got to listen i had gps tell me that i was supposed to make a right turn one day down the street that used to be there at some point in time that didn't mean i was going to turn down there and just run through people's houses because that's what the GPS said. The students, listen, very unfortunate. And I would say in 99% of these cases, if a bridge is out, there's some type of barricade in front of it or do not cross. Like, what? where the fuck was that? It wasn't. Yes, there's not cones either. There's usually some some shit in the way. Right. Like you're not just go go this like, wrong way, motherfucker. Like, what the fuck? Right. Beans, what you, what you got? So, <clears throat> you are absolutely right, French. So, if you look at the footage from the accident, you'll see these barriers in the water. But now, here's the twist. The this is not the, the first time it happened. So, at what point do you blame the city and not Google Maps for updating an outed bridge? If this has yeah. happened before, why is the city not taking better precautions? So, now, seeing the barrier in the water, is that there from the last accident and wasn't put back up? Or... That, that's what happened to dude. Maybe he caught it quick, skidded out, you know, slid in, however it may have happened. I, you know, I agree with Mav. I agree with you, French. But I think, in all honesty, this one is on the city because it's not the first time it happened. I agree. So, and, and you know, absolutely correct. You never know. You might He might have looked down at the GPS for one second trying to figure out where he's going, and that's when he realized. Because this was a very small, it's like a like a crossing. It's not even like a bridge bridge. Right. So, not two lanes, just one vehicle at a time type exactly. shit. Exactly. So if, if it's been an incident even once, that is when the city should have taken it upon themselves to make sure it doesn't happen again. Either fix the bridge. It should be flashing it, lights. Get... Flashing lights on the, on the yellow sign two miles away from that joint in either direction saying bridge out. You know, through traffic, whatever the fuck. But I was gonna right. say, I was gonna say the map. Map, you ever drove on blacktop on like on asphalt when it was raining, and you be driving and you like, is that like a big ass fucking puddle that's gonna wash my car away, or am I seeing shit? You know what I mean? And you kind of gotta slow down a little bit, or maybe sometimes you don't know if it's black ice. On like when it's dark and when shit is black, that's a little bit difficult. And if he's driving somewhere he don't really know. We don't know what time it was. Our resident conspiracy theorist, French, who thinks that uh, all birds are spying on us, that birds aren't real, pigeons ain't real. Uh, birds, pigeons. 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 Pigeons are spying on us. They got recording devices in them, and they, they really robots. I figured this would be something in his wheelhouse to talk to me about what he might think about the evils of technology. What's your take on this? Got French, I seen the mosquito with a six on him. <laughs> hey, you know about the skills that, that Bill Gates just put out in the world about 40 million of them shits. Might have been one of them with the number six jersey on. 
So the guy that invite the, the guy that invented Windows ninety five is is now mass producing fucking mosquitoes. Yeah. So French, what do you think about the GPS killing this man? Um, the GPS. I mean, first of all, that shit happens way more often than most people would think. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's mad people driving themselves off cliffs and roads and all kind of shit with this GPS shit. Like, stop using Google Maps. That's first. Use yeah. Waze. Waze is never. Same never did me wrong. Same ways to let you know where the cops are. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Checkpoints and all that kind of shit. Red light cameras. Ways is on it. Yeah. Just fuck Google Maps. Use ways. Yeah. Ways is ways is like your wise fucking uncle. You know what I mean? Yeah, but listen, ways has almost gotten me into accidents because it has ads that pop up and interrupt your GPS. So See, somebody has to pay the bills. Why well, there's a there's a paid version where the bills don't. I mean, shit doesn't. I mean, pay the bills. I'm not trying to die to pay their fucking bills with ads popping up. Fuck out of here. Like pull over and then get back on <laughs> every two minutes when the ad pops up. Listen, so this, this is my ways. I don't know. The, the lesson is don't trust the machines. Like the machines is gonna find a myriad of different ways to take us out, right? They're gonna take our jobs from us. Some of these robots in about 20 years are gonna be able to go hand in hand with you and murder you, like literally, you know what I mean? And the, the little sideways shit they doing is they got Google Maps making your ad drive off a cliff. I'm sure French probably think that's population control. And damn, we got the Kansas City smack man, one of the toughest, if not the toughest, in August Falls, the New York side we talking about. Yeah. Yes, the piff yeah. man. Jamal yeah. Gasol is in the building once again. Second appearance on the show. Second appearance yeah. on the channel. Jamal Gasol was popping. And before we even get started, what's up with the billboard? Well, it's out right now on um all stream. I mean on um band camp only. Monday it'll be on streaming platforms. It's a nightmare on Piff Street. It's a project me and Flu had in the cut for a minute, man. Shout out my boy Flu Dust out in Australia. He was working on this project a while ago. And um, I've been a fan of his for a minute ago. Um, actually, one of my projects I got hit to him was with Riggs. It was uh, mm. a piece of the action, if I'm not mistaken. Gotcha. The, one with all, the one with all the bank rolls on the joint. That joint was fire. It had all the money in the circle yeah. and shit on the cover. Right, that was dope. Yeah, so I was a fan yeah. since then, you know what I mean? And okay. uh, after Tells from the t- Trenches, he had reached out to me like he liked the project. So I told him, like, it's been long overdue. Let us put something together. So we had that project in the cup for a minute, man. I had up Squat Dead Face. As you can see on the billboard, he got me uh, reenacting the scene from Freddy Krueger when he had the needle tips and shit. You know what I mean? So I want to do something a little different, like. Wow. And as y'all can see, I keep some stars on the screen. That's what we do over here. I keep some stars on the screen. Um, So let's get right into this. I don't know if I want to do this, but let's go. My notes say, and I have no idea what this is. I might have read something about it, then I forgot. But then I put it in my notes. My notes just say Beans versus Benzino. Both of these cats from Boston. We already know. We already know Benzino gets into it with his fair share of people. And Beans is no stranger to the smoke. So Beans. (laughs) <laughs> Can you t- Let's why, have it. why is that why is why is beans versus benzino a topic on my list what's what's the problem with you and benzino i wonder if it, maybe it's the anniversary of of uh being signed to block a fella records i don't know because um he blocked me on twitter a couple of years ago because let, let's just say the homie has always been known for having troll accounts on Twitter. So so let's just say um, my rebuttal to the Chinese food situation is because a troll, that was definitely him, because I know how he talks, on Twitter came at me and was like, yeah, Beans, let's go, let's go to Dudley and have some Chinese food. Like, he has threatened me through, through troll accounts. So well, let me not say that like a threat like that, okay? Let me not, let me not do all that. I'm, and I'm not scared of Benzino, okay? But anyway. So I jumped on Twitter one day and he was disrespecting the fuck out of Big Ghost. And let me just make it very clear. I know Big Ghost doesn't need anybody (laughs) 
to stick up for him because he can, that man, you know, he got away with words. But my thing is, I'm so sick of motherfuckers thinking of this when they think Boston, okay? So the Bostonians, like we, he's, we, we denounce him. He's not, he's not from here, but he was mad disrespectful. So I stepped right in and I, like, like it says, I put him in check. And then he wanted to call me a culture vulture, tell me to eat a dick. All right, listen, Ben Zeno did some shit back in the day. I got respect for the whole like almighty RSO and wise guys situation back yeah, this is in the than day. Rap. He dropped yeah, the is. ball on everything else. And let's, let's just say he left his mind wherever he lost his neck. It's they're together somewhere. That's the first thing I was going to ask you. Like, if we talk about turtleneck Benzino or just somebody <laughs> else named Benzino we don't know about. Yo, and so, so wait a minute. He that's told not why. That's not why. He, 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 this is, I'm going to give credit to Flea Lord on this. Because this is, this is what I, I heard Flea Lord put it like this. Shout to Flea Lord. He invited you to the Frank stand? <laughs> wait, does he own the Frank stand? I know he owns, I mean, I guess he owns a Frank. <laughs> <laughs> he told he told you to he he told you to suck it, huh? I mean, look, he don't even know how to spell my name, and it's right in front of his face. Beans. He's gonna call me a culture vulture. Like, I'm sorry, loving hip hop. I turned down being on reality shows, two of them. So you're the one up on there, turtle, turtle. Wait, did I just create a platform for you just to just? Pew pew and Benzino right now. That's what we. That's what you. I mean, no, yeah, because you did, I tried you did. to give him a hug. Somebody hurt him. He blocked me. I was not scared to speak the truth to him. I will. I. I will talk about the shit that I respect. But like, nah, you ain't about to go shit on the fucking culture when you're the vulture. He and he called me a culture. Like what? Nah. Now you call. Now you call Benzino a. a, a of a, a, a vulture. Why? Why? No, he called me a vulture. Right, but he called you a vulture. But you, right now, I think you're saying he's a vulture, right? Are you doing it? The source, love and hip hop, everything else. Is I'm I'm afraid. Apparently, at, a fucking wiener stand. I'm I'm afraid to ask what the first. That's Benzino. What the first tweet was you sent back to him? He he he. You said he disrespected Ghost, and then you said something. Because I I I said that Ghost has done more for the culture than Benzino has in years. Yeah, that hurt. That was it. Yeah, and that, yeah, so I asked who hurt him because he yeah. that's when he came back. Knowing 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 what he has done in the industry, of course that's gonna probably catch a nerve with him. He on he on his way out. You know he, yeah. he pushing sixty. He He's been out next. What he Eminem pushes. ruined his career. I'm sorry to cut you off. I'm sorry. Sure. But when we're talking Ja Rule and 50, you know, before, listen, you want to talk about that some other shit. Like Eminem came in and went, boom, all over a rating in the source. And it was just handled extremely poorly. And unfortunately, Boston gets a bad, gets a reflection of that. Mm. When I'm like, can you guys think of Guru? There's plenty that new additions, so many other people. Don't yeah, bring up Benzino when you talk to me about Boston. Just don't. Just yeah. don't. New addition is that deal. But I, so, <laughs> so, so this is about you stuck up for Big Ghost and you did it in a way that was sort of, eh, right? It was rude. Oh, no. I was, I was absolutely the instigator. And then he came I'm back. I'm not going to try to defend myself. He came he back. Said, he, told me, he, said, he told me to eat a dick, called me a culture vulture. So, look, I got cute at him. After that, I was like, you want to go have some Chinese food and discuss it? And, I asked who hurt him. You did you ask him out on a date for Chinese? Well, it's because going back to the the whole reason I did that is because he trolled me from a fake account some years back. Don't tell me. Tried to be young. like, let's you go were... eat some Chinese food in, on Dudley and talk listen, about it. Listen, when we were young, we noticed that the girl would see third, fourth grade. The girl pick on the guy. The guy pick on the girl. They really liked each other. So you trying to say Benzino yeah. want to me? Is it possible that there might be a sort of undercover love connection? Maybe it's some t sexual tension underneath the surface between. Apologize. I like Apologize. Mike. Apologize. Apologize. No, well, listen. He light skinned. You think I want to fuck? So you no, think I like light skinned men? It's not you. It's, it don't necessarily got to be you. 
but it, it, he could be receiving your your ignorance as flirting, and he may have an interest in wanting to mess with you. Oh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's crazy, like how you just said, like girls that pick on the boy and the boy pick on the girl that usually like each other. I can relate to that. I know Should exactly I, do you what want me to though. read the tweet to you? Because I don't think there was anything flirtatious. No, about no, what you, I said. You, you offered the man Chinese food. He looked at But why aren't you getting the because he he offered it, he told me that was a threat for me and him to sit down and have Chinese food on Dudley. That's your in question. Fucking Roxbury. Listen. He was trying to lure me out. So that's why I said let's sit down and have Chinese food because I was coming back at him for what he said to me some years back. I gotta believe that Benzino uh caters and sticks to the protocols of the street no women and children are to be harmed right and so when he invited you out for chinese the man wasn't gonna do he probably is gonna try to run the moves on you is is is, is it is it possible let's look at this y'all both from boston y'all mm -hmm. both the industry y'all both got slick ass fucking mouths right y'all both shoot first ask questions later y'all both these might be bigger than mine Y'all both light bright, right? Y'all yeah, both got good hair. Well, listen, listen. Maybe it's something there. I, let me, let me, let me be the emissary. I'm gonna reach out to Benzino for you. Maybe you can soften this image. Maybe he can soften your image. Maybe both of y'all need some under the sheets. Maybe both of y'all are backed up. And we'll go back to 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 what Mike was trying to say about Benzino keeping to the codes of the street and shit. Yeah, he was um, trying to bag you though, but continue. You never I heard don't of think that was no. I don't. I just don't think it was Mackin. You never you never heard of Thug Love before. My thing is this, Beans. Right, y'all both from Boston. Y'all both know. Y'all both know mutual people. Along those lines, there's gonna be a compliment said, whether you like or don't like this person. We're like, oh, he's a good dude. Oh, she cool as hell. It's gonna be something said where you already offering to go out to eat with this man. You already in the this interest. The, the the if I'm not mistaken, the best way to a man's heart is his stomach. Mr. Piff, how does the saying go? If uh if you what you can't have the one you love, then love the one you with. You ain't three kids and a hundred pounds later. You know what I mean? So your confidence is up. I get it. But Mike has a nice moral message here. He's saying, man, I think you should hear him out. I think that if you actually knew the caliber of the men I y'all can all eat and we can eat Chinese food on Dudley and talk about it. How about that? And the next story, Kanye West. Yes. <laughs> Listen, so why? I, like I, I, I hesitate to do a Kanye. Listen, I mean, you could argue, Piff, but I hesitate to even do a Kanye West piece because I feel like while I'm doing this, He's doing some fuck shit right now, right? Yo, you, gotta get, you, gotta, you know what? That's the law of attraction. That what? That's the law of attraction. You, you thinking negative, man. Are you getting that? He's being sued by a former project manager on his $57 million Malibu home for failing to comply with his unusual demands, among other grievances. Watch this. According to NBC News, 32-year-old Tony Saxon filed a lawsuit against Ye on September 13th, after he was fired for refusing to remove all the windows and electricity from Ye's property. All the windows and electricity, he wanted gone, right? He wanted him to take out all the windows. Ye responded, if you don't do what I say, you're not gonna work for me, and I'm not gonna be your friend anymore. You're just gonna see me on TV. Not gonna be your friend. The lawsuit alleged violations of labor codes, including dangerous work conditions, unpaid wages, the wrongful retaliatory termination. Saxon said Kanye's plan for the property was to make it like a bomb shelter from the 1910s by removing the custom marble bathrooms, custom windows, plumbing, and electricity, as well as replacing the stairs with slides. Hey, we're gonna be gutting all of that out and sort of building him a bat cave where he said he could hide from the Clintons, Bill and Hillary, hide from the Clintons and Who's the, the Kardashians. He gonna hide from the Kardashians and Bill and Hillary in the back cave. That's what he said, Who, okay? Who, who's the source, Mike? The, Mike. The, that filed the lawsuit that was the property manager at his house that Jay was trying to get this guy to do all the work. He said, listen, Saxon said, believing the property was just an art project, 
as we progress, it's becoming clear that no, he wants to live here. Saxon said, yeah, he wanted no electricity. He only wanted plants. He only wanted candles. He only wanted battery lights. And he just wanted to have everything open and dark. You can't keep food in that house because you had no refrigerator left. <laughs> you had no window. I had seagulls flying in. <laughs> Yo, listen, man. Kanye, Kanye's creativity is like out of this world, man. So, you know, he has a vision that we can't see. And sometimes we can't be mad at his vision, man. And he has to put it together for us. And we may not like what we see, but he loves it. You know what I'm saying? And you got to respect that. So no. I feel like nope. Nope. taking all the windows out is like bogus. But um, if that's what he want to do. Hey, I listen, mean, you just, let me. Let if me you don't want to do the work, then you can quit. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, he was, you don't got to do it. I'll find somebody else to do it. So, he was living yeah. in the West. <laughs> the guy was living in this house while he was trying to do this project. And yeah, he's treating this guy like trash. And listen, everybody know how much respect I got for uh, Jamal Gasol. It's widely known. So let me just repeat that right here before I go in on him. Listen, no, <laughs> no, no. We are not giving this man a pass. Have you ever, have you ever been anywhere near a fucking seagull in your life? Yeah, they be yeah, yeah, they be out yeah, by the beach and shit. Them niggas is mad aggressive. Yeah, and, you don't go. But over they have to be them. around food. They're attracted to food. He wants to be on a privatized Wi-Fi network. He wants to have an alternate source of energy. He wants to have no doors, no windows, no fixtures, just concrete. So, this is the question I feel like I ask three times a week. What's wrong with Kanye? Two. Why is he scared of Bill and Hillary Clinton? I think the, like one of the amendments where they talk about the Clinton. With the with them jail laws and stuff like that, I think they had something to do with um the drug laws changing. So maybe maybe that may be the reference. That's the only thing I can see that he would be scared of the Clintons for. Aside from that, like, why would he be scared of the Clintons? He not moving work. And put him in your closet. He just paranoid. I was man. thinking the same smile. thing, Mike. His dad coming out of nowhere trying to get in the mix. You know what I mean? He got a lot of his his guard is up. As far as that Illuminati. Stuff right. Oh, nobody said it. I I don't know. Well, you know the I word. I, I don't know if that stuff is coincidental or 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 sacrifice or ritual because it seems like things do just happen, and some people propel from those situations sometimes, like or excel from those situations sometimes. And it's not does it was it was it like change <laughs> drugs was a sacrifice for French Montana. You know, certain things like that. And it's like, was that really the case or is things just coincidental? Like it's beyond right. like Beyonce having all those fans. Like you seen Swarm on Amazon? I have not, but yeah, I it's incredible. I it. Did you see Swarm? I checked it out. Yeah, Swarm was crazy, man. It made me look at Beyonce different like that. Her fans have power, but is she really in control of the or are people responsible for their actions? Go back to Kanye. And think about how, what the difference is from old Kanye to Kanye post mom's death. This is what I want to hear. Talk to me. So my biggest thing is for the longest time, I'm only going to speak on certain shit because that's just, that's, that's what it has to be. But. If, if you follow the timeline and you watch everything happen progressively, Kanye has seen some things. If you see the dead behind his eyes from if you look at the liveliness from back in the day to after his mother died. And then all of a sudden, but there's got to be a certain fucking level of protection because he's still alive. Prodigy ain't alive. There's certain people that aren't alive who... I used to speak this. on crazy things like the Clintons and the Kardashians and all this wild shit. The bottom line is, I am not giving him any type of passes, but I am going to say it's to the point that I can't be angry with him because I feel so bad for him because that man has seen some things. He has seen some things. He's broken. Some people make decisions that they think is the right one at the fucking time until they in it and they see it. So that boy broken. Just, he broken. Yes. Yes. He needs help. 
Listen, he when you look at, uh, listen. He needs I, help, but there's no helping him. You can't help him. You got to, yeah, he's going to, yeah, because listen. And I think, because, 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 because I think Piff is pro Kanye, and I'm not mad at you for, I'm not be, I'm not mad at Piff for being pro, pro Kanye. And for y'all who just tuned into the show and you're like, why he keeps saying Piff? That's Jamal Gasol. Go check out the fucking music. Jamal Gasol. Like Paul Gasol. Jamal Gasol. Go check out the music. But that's Piff who I'm talking to. But when you look at, he used to be the Louis Vuitton Don. Mm-hmm. Look how he dressed. Nice. Yeah, you know, okay. you know, I'm all that being so we can go back to state property. Look at look at Yay in state property. Yeah, he was dressed up with the with the button ups and the busts and the polos. Yeah, he, he was definitely on a fresh time back then, man. But I think um, like you said, you know, Kanye seen something, man. Something changed Kanye's state of mind, and it ain't been the same since. A dark twisted fantasies is definitely a transition for sure, like. Even the pop, the life of Pablo is not the same, like. But I like him because I like his energy, man. He's not afraid to speak his mind, like. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't think he's human. He's about. He speaking his mind, but I don't think he know what he's talking about. He ain't, he ain't in his right state of mind Sometimes. at this point. So unless you can really read between the lines. Listen, there are certain black people, and I'm not saying, and Piff ain't in this, I'm just saying this, right? You ain't in this category. I'm just saying, you, sometimes you see certain black folk online and they praise Trump because they say, well, he told it like it was. So he'll, Trump will say that he did something that was shady and black folk will be like, yeah, but that's really how it is though. Like they give him the respect for it. Like he played the smart play, right? So on the, on the flip side, some of them saying people will be like, you know, yay speak his motherfucking mind. But see people leaving out the part where he's supposed to be making the smart play. Like, I don't know who run the industry, right? But Kanye is out there saying certain people run the industry. And then you got everybody in the comment section going, but he telling the truth. Okay. But is that the smart play? Like what you about to do? You about to be the one voice that's going to bring down this whole machine. Like, bro, that's not the smart play. And then look what happened with the Adidas shit. You know what I mean? Where everybody pulling away, you know what I mean? Now you really can't market yourself. I understand, but if you want to, listen, it's, 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 you could be one or the other, and I'm not saying you can't be both, but it's only so far you can go. So maybe you're a black dude, maybe you, maybe you Chuck D, and you speaking out about some injustice, but you a rapper, that's kind of on brand, even if it ain't on brand, you speaking out about something that's very fucking important. Right, something needs light shined on it. When you go out there and say all these people is evil, and they run the game and fuck them, what's the play? In this situation, it's not the money that changed him. It's what he did to get to that level of money that changed him. Choices that were made. I, I wonder. What's the choices then? I wonder what choices was really made in question. That's like, where, that's like, where like, I don't want to hit that dark side. Watching. And that's why I tried to say his his mom, his that's all like without there's certain like I'm not scared to say a lot of shit, yeah, but watch, there's certain no, shit that I'm not gonna open up those floodgates, but everything he's talking correlates. And it just so happened you know, to be the downfall after his mom died. And remember when he went on stage one time and he said, yeah, he went on, he went on stage and he said, Jay-Z, please don't send them people after me or some shit like that. I think, he, I, I think he legit said. Jay-Z, I know you dead killers. Please don't send them at my head. Just call me. Let's say why a guy like The Weeknd went around for a whole year, every public appearance with that bloody bruised up eye and that bandage on, with that same suit on like brought the music video to life. I'm talking, he was on Saturday Night Live with that same exact outfit, with the same bruises and the same, he was yeah. on a show, same suit, same scar, same bandages. Why is this man walking around like that? Why is Justin Bieber, over the past couple of years, I watched B Bieber on SNL. I love the song, Yummy. It's a really good song, Yummy. It's a great song, right? So I watched Bieber on Saturday Night Live do this song, and he came out with some fucking hospital scrubs on, right? The Justin Bieber is 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 a is a is a large, right? Let's just say right pants. Let's say large, right? 
This nigga came out with some 4X scrub pants on. The rope on the scrub pants was like this big, like fat laces from back in the fucking day, right? And then he got the, he had the porn mustache. I was that's, about to say, maybe he has a ginormous and that's why. I ain't got a pause, oh, shit. What's poppin' is your boy Mike Powers. The, 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 the intro king.